that love produces some of the greatest, the most wonderful emotions we can experience as people. The warmth, the joy, the laughter, there's nothing that compares to it. But it's not dependent on those feelings. Love keeps going through the hard times too. It keeps going even when the cost of going is, is high. Because love bears all things, hopes all things, believes all things, endures all things. And love like that doesn't shy away from commitment of any amount, any length. Love like that is worth celebrating. Love like that is worth giving your life to. And I know that's why you guys are here today. That's, that's why I'm so excited for you, so hopeful for your future. since high school. It's been about 10 years now and she's one of the first friends I remember like having tons of fun with with minimal drama and it's been really good and Danielle's just always been a part of our family even when we were 15 and like doing weird things. So I'm really excited that it's official and that I get a fourth sister because I don't have enough. <laughs> Um, so if you guys will join me in raising a glass to my new sister and my brother. So I've known Ryan for a long time. Uh, we grew up together. Um, we've been real close. He means a lot to me. And I never thought uh, somebody would be you know, good enough for Ryan. Um, over the years, we talked about uh, girls quite a bit. Um, he, he knew what he wanted. But the, the thing about Ryan, it wasn't just he wanted something and, and he was gonna get it. It was, he, he had a plan. So he knew from the get-go, um, he wasn't gonna find a woman that amazing um, unless he, he worked hard to be that kind of person himself. Um, so he, he knew he had to be, uh, you know, a person of love, a person of faith, and a person of character. and he's become that man. We're gathered here today to celebrate love. That's what a wedding should be, a celebration of love. It is right for the result of love to be commitment. Their friendship grew into love and the love has grown now to commitment. That's right, that, that's how it should be. And it's no small thing they're doing here today. They're ready to commit to one another for life, to give up personal freedoms, to, to pass by future opportunities, all for the sake of the person standing across from them. I could never have imagined I would get so lucky. I know God has amazing adventures in store for us and I'm excited to make our vows together. I love going through life with you. I won't always have an influence over our circumstances, but I'll be constant for you regardless of what life throws at us. I'll do everything I can to make you laugh when you feel like crying, even if it's at my own expense. And to humble myself each morning and learn to love you better than I did the day before to selflessly lead you through the days ahead and strive to be an example of Christ-like love to you. I love you with all my heart, Dan. I'm so excited to be your husband, to love you, serve you, and to hold your hand whenever it looks lonely, and to believe in you when you doubt yourself the most. I'm so thankful I get to marry you. Ray, I promise to choose you and only you, day after day. I promise to hold your hand kiss you every chance I get. I promise to love your family as my own. I promise to love you when life seems easy and when it seems difficult, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. When we face difficulties in our path, I promise to stand beside you and uplift you so that we can overcome them together. 
You're my beloved and I'm yours. I take you as you are, loving who you are now, loving who you have yet to become. I will love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to encourage you, trust you, and respect you as the head of our household. As a family, we will create a home filled with laughter, learning, and gentleness. I will care for you, dream with you, and share with you all of life's joys and adversities from this day forward and all the days of our lives. Congratulations. Before God and man, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Make us the bride.